Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again, new episode on now too. Thanks again for uh, following me and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified for the next tutorial. Now, without any delay, let's start the new tutorial. Today I'm going to uh, show you how to translate your website to nearly every language. So this is the actual website that we're gonna use to translate. You wanna go back to the dashboard. You wanna go to plugins, add new, and you want to search for a plugin called G Translate. This is a free, it's also come as a, a pro, but it's also a free version. This is the one we're gonna use it today. It is this one here from Translate AI Multilingual Solution. Um, what you want to do, you're going to install it and then press activate. This is the one we want. It's a very simple to use uh, plugin. You're going to go to settings, G Translate, and all the information are going to be shown here. There are many ways to display the translation. Um, at the moment that we got flags and we got inside the site navigation let's have a look how it looks i'm going to refresh the page this is just out of the box as you've seen it and here we got the languages you can actually translate now if i go back the translate from is english and automatically will uh, check the uh, the English language then over here you can actually check which language you want to translate at the moment we got Italian German French and Spanish I'm going to remove the Spanish and the Italian here also we got the flag size I'm going to press save going back to the home page I don't think it's saved yet. Let's wait. There we go. I'm going to refresh the page and now you should have English, French and German. There we go. When I press on the French, as you can see, the uh, the menu, even the menu changes. Uh, now the German is quite fast, as you can see. It doesn't take much. Let's go and have a look at the blog, how it looks. And as you can see, automatically change it in German. If I get it, click on French, German, English. Now we're going to inside the actual post itself. That's English. We go French and the German. You also translate the sidebar. And also, as you can see here, it translates the um, the comments. Even though this one is in, it won't be translated properly, as the um, comments are in Latin. But otherwise, it, it translated pretty well. I'm going back. I'm going to change the way it's shown. Uh, I'm going to sh choose uh, flag and drop down. Still on 16. I'm going to save changes. Go to the main page so that will refresh. And we got the tree on top here and also we got the drop down. Let's go back and have a look at the reason why it is up. Right, because what happened here, we have chosen the site navigation. And we also have shows the flag and the drop down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say none to the menu. So it looks like that you can actually display the two. So I'm going to refresh once that's been done. Come on. This is the actual preview, how it shows. 
So Control F five. Okay, so all right now I understand what happened. So the flag and the drop down, this is what we want. And here asks us where we want to put it. Um we gotta choose one of the two, the show in menu or show floating. So I'm gonna to do top right. It does take a little bit of time to save it. So this is what it looks like and it does really looks good. So let's go back. We're going to go just to drop down. Now, unfortunately, the only way to make it perfect, you got to start and mess around a little bit with the CSS. But if you just stick with what the system gives, you gotta work around a little bit to make it, you know, work it better. Let's go Control F5 to clean the cache. So now we got the top drop down. There we go. We go to the nice one. I presume that changes the CSS with a nice one. Let's go back here until uh, you automatically save it. There we go. Let's see how it looks. Now this is much better. I like this. Yes. Now let's see if I can actually put at the bottom because it will look much, much better. So we're going to say bottom right. And I'm going to save it. Even though I must be honest, I like that uh, just the flags inside the menu. And perhaps that's the, the choice I will make myself if I have to display it. There we go. All right, this is sticky at the bottom and it works beautifully. Let's go to the blog. As you can see, it retains the language. In this case, we are you know, using German. And yes, that's the German one. And go to the French. And let's see, go to the English. Perfect. It works perfectly well. Check again the actual blog if it looks okay. It's perfectly well. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to choose the just the flags. And I think this is what I really liked. You know, if I would choose to have my own website with this uh, plugin, this is, I think, the option that I would choose just the flags and inside the site navigation. There we go. So we got the French and the German. Everything is translated perfectly. So here we go. This is the G Translate free plugin. You also have the opportunity to have the pro version. And uh, you have the auto switch in the browser if you want to. So based on the person uh, browser, the actual uh, website. Let's see if this does. Uh, I think I got set it in a different language. Um,
see if it actually translates. All right, you go straight to the German. Uh, let's see if I add the Italian. If that makes any. Save that. I don't need this one here. let's see if it works now I think I got the Italian set in my browser but it does comes English so um, all right it doesn't work really the way it's supposed to maybe something I haven't done properly but anyway I think you got the actual uh, drift here on how it works and I hope you enjoyed this uh, small tutorial on how to translate your website I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share my videos. I'll see you next time.